Well, in this video, I'll be covering what I've been working on with the camera, zooming out based on players that are nearby. So right now we have no other players nearby. The camera's all the way zoomed in. And here, we the camera detects that there's a player nearby, so it starts to zoom out. I've got the zoom duration really tight, so it zooms out super fast. Um, but in the game, it'll be a lot smoother, so the zoom, the zoom won't be so abrupt. Let's see it better with... Uh, See how it zooms out even if, it cam if the camera rotates at different angles? It's pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and turn that zoom duration back to something reasonable. Um, I had it at two. Let's try one. One second, it will zoom all the way. And it has sort of like a sine wave uh, to it so that it slows down at the end. I'd like to make it slow down at the beginning too. Do like a, a smooth S curve. So there we go. That's a lot smoother. So there you have it. That's really all I've been working on. Uh, let's look at the code behind this. And uh, you can see, let's actually turn on this. And you can see in the left left uh, debug panel there, we have the zoom. And it's showing you that right now the zoom's at about 0 0.5, 0 0.58. That's because all the players we want to see are right there at the screen. But if I start going off this off to the side, It'll zoom, it'll zoom higher, 0.6, to try and show those other players. Really, I gotta fix it so it zooms out even more. In fact, let's see if we can get that to work. This distance factor here, what if we put that to 0.5? Uh, so anyways, this is the math behind it. It basically loops over important positions um, nearby, and those are set by the current players. So there's eight players right now. It's not zooming in for skybots yet, but we might want to add that or maybe add a certain weight to those positions. So let's see if we can get to a higher zoom now. Yeah, we can get a little bit higher zoom. We're at point, point 0.8. It's trying to really stretch and show you what's going on there in the bottom there with that player. So um, yeah, let's look at the code. Um, some more. So here in render system, we've got this uh, function called animate lens, which basically just loops over all the players and adds their, their important positions. First of all, it adds your current player's position. So the first index there is the position of the current player. This is in two dimensions though. So it takes the 3D position, projects it to a 2D position, and uses that for all these calculations. It subtracts out the current camera position and half of the screen so that if a player is right in the middle of the screen, their p.x and p.y will be zero. So, um, so that means that the distance, it can be easily calculated for the current player being zero and the rest of the players being relative to where the camera is actually looking at. So, here in uh, lens follow, this is a, an effect of the camera lens and it's currently only handling zoom. I'd like to apply the uh, X and Y positions too. Currently the render system handles that, but really this, this should be in lens follow. Um, and so it loops over all those important positions and finds positions that are not the current player but other players, or let's say the uh, other than the first index in the important positions, because we already set the current player to be the first index, it looks for anything other than that and checks its X and Y distance compared to maximum distance and then goes ahead and um, sets those, that it determines the maximum point, for the furthest away point that is um, visible. And then it goes and determines a zoom factor based on that. So it, it goes and calculates a maximum distance, blending the X and Y maximum distances together, and then loops and then divides that by an absolute maximum distance and gives a distance factor. And that determines the new zoom amount. And then the new zoom amount is mixed with the old zoom amount um, at a rate that makes the zoom duration um, seems like it, it smooths it out basically. So that's it. That's really it. And then the whole the, the whole rest of the lens is a little bit more uh, complicated. It actually has to go in. It determines an X, Y, and a Z position. It determines the camera position and camera zoom based on those. And it adds together uh, the old camera, the new camera. There's a lot of math going on up there, but that's kind of out of the scope of this video. So thanks for watching this video. Check it later.